I had the chance to chat with Michael Haft and Harrison Suarez, the founders of Compass Coffee. As Marines and entrepreneurs, they formed a friendship, faced fears and challenges, and are building one of the fastest growing brands in Washington, D.C. So Michael Harrison, I'm so glad to get the chance to be with you guys today and really dig into the details and learn more about you guys. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having us. Thank you. I think of you as successful entrepreneurs and the owners of Compass Coffee, this hometown favorite, and U.S. Marines. Um, but take me further back. What was in the formative years? So I think it starts for both of us with internships that we didn't like. Um, yeah. We were sophomores in college. We weren't friends. It's important. So you, so you didn't know each other at that no. point? We were just doing our thing. Um, we both went to school in St. Louis and our entire lives had been kind of preparing for these, these internships, right? Like you go to high school and work hard to get good grades, to get to the right school, to get to the right internship, to get to the right career. And when we ended up at these jobs, it just wasn't what we wanted. Uh, so I was working in commercial real estate and uh, I was just going through Excel spreadsheet after Excel spreadsheet with other miserable people in the office and nobody was enjoying what they did, nobody was passionate about their work, everybody was just trying to get out of the office. And uh, one day I left work and uh, I was walking down the street and I looked in the window at the, the Barnes & Noble in Bethesda and uh, I saw this book about a young man who joined the Marines and his whole adventure, uh, you know, through deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan and what it took to become a Marine. Wow. And yeah. so that was your, that was your moment. You said, that was it. you said, I'm yeah. that guy. Yeah. Like I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be, be like a, I want to be a Marine. Absolutely. So what was, what was scarier? Mm -hmm. You're in this moment, you show up at basic training, yeah. compare that moment to when you opened your first coffee shop. It's really hard to pick which one <laughs> is, is, is harder or more, more terrifying. Um, in both situations, you don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. Um, you've seen movies, you see drill instructors yelling, but what's that really going to be like? Or opening day for, for Compass, is anybody going to show up? Um, ultimately, I think, I think opening at Compass was, was more terrifying. So is, is fear the right word when you compare entrepreneurship, military service, like stepping into the unknown like that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and anyone who tells you otherwise is either lying or something's wrong with them. Because there's just so many variables and so much uncertainty with, with everything about both processes, right? Like boot camp, OCS, you don't know what you're getting into. And starting a company particularly like retail where there's brick and mortar, you've got a front door, there's customers, you're gonna have all these people come in, you hope, and they're, they're gonna have their own set of expectations about like what is a coffee shop, like what should you be serving? Like, I mean, I remember like when we were, I mean, day one, like when people started coming in, that's when it's live, right? And that's when we're like, wow, we have a lot of stuff to fix and we better figure it out fast, yeah. So are there lessons, really direct lessons, from being a Marine that you've taken into Compass mm -hmm. that allow you to be successful? Yeah, I mean, from the Marines, uh, no plan survives first contact. So what, what they're saying is, when you're gonna go out on a patrol, have a plan. Tell your guys what you're gonna do when you're out in the field. But be prepared to change when the situation on the ground changes. And it's the same thing for us in, in business. Have a, have a plan, but know that you're going to have to change as the situation changes. So I think that's been super important. I love that. Yeah. So one last question. When you look to the future, what, what lights you up? I mean, I think building a team, that, that's some of the most rewarding uh, parts of, of uh, you know, running a business is, you know, finding great people, mentoring them, teaching them, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for all of our young leaders who are, who are stepping up into bigger positions of responsibility. 
And Harrison, what, what's exciting for you? That's, that's the thing. I, I have the same answer. It's a slightly different in the sense that as we grow, we get to do more and more cool stuff. Um, so I don't know exactly what it is. Like, I don't have an exact answer what's next. But as the team gets better, we get to focus on building. And it's really cool to see what we get to do each day. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. I think what you guys are doing for DC, for the community, for your guests every day. We love I'm it. one of your guests. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm appreciative yeah. for what you're doing. It matters. Thank you. Yeah.